Hey everyone, so I'm here today just to film sort of a little sequel to my makeup tutorial. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys um, sort of suggestions that I have for what to wear when you go to the pool or um, to the beach or anything and then also what I keep in my beach bag and in my little purse that I bring with me uh, in case you guys were curious or if you just wanted some suggestions of good ideas, things that um, to wear or to bring with you to the pool or to the beach. So I hope you guys enjoy! So the next portion of this video, uh, I want to show you sort of my outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So the first thing obviously you need is a swimsuit. Um, this swimsuit I got last year. It's a one piece, um, just nice diagonal um, and horizontal stripes down at the bottom. I think it's super adorable. It's super flattering on my body shape because I am a little bit bigger. I'm not a stick. I would never wear a bikini. Um, but I think it's still cute and fun, um, but it still covers me up. I really like, there's like this nice ruching down the side. Um, there's little built-in sort of like boning, if that's what it's called, I think, um, on the sides so that your boobs will be held in. Um, and then I really love the one strap, the one shoulder. And then this has a cute little like, it's like knotted together almost detail. Um, I don't know, I feel like this just is pretty flattering on it. It also has nice... Um, sort of padding on the, in the chest area, so that's helpful as well. Um, I don't know, I really love it. So this is like my fun swimsuit. Um, as a lifeguard, I do have a lifeguarding swimsuit, and then I also have like my swimming swimsuit. Um, like when I want to go swim laps and stuff, it's just plain and black. But so I'll be wearing that, and over that I'll be wearing a white t-shirt, like I have on right now. Just a white v-neck, I got this from Target, they're like eight dollars. Um, I have a few of them, because I wear them so often. And then I really like to wear these sort of just like sporty running shorts. I don't like to run, but they're really cute, and I think they work well for, like, the beach or the pool. So this first one, they're hot pink, hot pink, and then they have this gray kind of, I don't know, almost lacy pattern on the side um, with the white lining, and these are from Sofi. These are a size large, just for reference. They're kind of short, um, but the style of them makes them appear not so short, if that makes sense. Like the regular Sofi shorts, I wear them to bed, but I can't wear them out in public because they're too short on me. Um, and then another example are these, which are more of a coral color. Um, I'm not really even sure what brand these are. It says Coliseum. Um, but they're just a coral color and they have white on the sides. And these are like my favorite. I got these at TJ Maxx for like $9.99 or something like that. So that was really awesome. Uh, I think they're really cute, and they are a little bit longer and a little bit baggier. And then these last pair, um, I think are really fun. They're from Champion, um, and they're just mesh shorts. Um, these are definitely a little bit longer. That's backwards. Not that it really matters, but there's the little logo. Um, but this side is pink, and then you can flip them inside out, and they're gold. So you get two pairs of shorts in one. I think that's kind of fun as well. So I'll probably be wearing, um, I'll put on my swimsuit, and then I'll put on the white tank top, and I'll probably put on these shorts today, the hot pink ones, because um, I'm just going to the pool to hang out with one of my friends. So there's that, and then for shoes, um, I did buy a pair of flip flops that I really liked. Um, they were nice and squishy, but they were so squishy that they just absorbed the chlorine water and um, started to smell really bad. So, I looked for a new pair of sandals, and these are the ones I found. Um, they're from Adidas. It says the Super Cloud, like that's like the footbed or whatever, and they're like squishy and kind of foamy, but they're not like super duper like squishy, if that makes sense. Like they're comfortable and they're really supportive, um, and they have nice treading on the bottom so you don't slip around, and then this strap is adjustable, you can unvelcro it and velcro it to fit your feet. Um, but these are really nice, especially for or being around the pool or in the water, because um, the footbed is made to sort of resist the water. Like, it will it might absorb some of it, but it will dry out really quickly. So I really like these a lot. Now moving on, I'm going to go over what I keep in my bag when I go to the pool. So first of all, I'm going to show you, um, I know I showed these in another video just recently. So I'm going to show you, I have this little side bag, which I use as my purse as I go to the pool, and this is from Mark. Um, the first most important thing are my sunglasses. 
So there they are. Um, I just got this pair. They're very similar to the pair that I just had. Um, and I just got this pair from eBay. They were like $9.96 and free shipping. And they're polarized. And that's why I got them. Um, just to kind of decrease the um, glare on the water and help um, so my eyes don't hurt so badly. And then the other things that are in my bag, I keep a lot of lip products. First one I have in here I'm going to pull out um, is the Sugar Plum Lip Balm from Fresh. And it's got SPF 15, which is why I have it in here. The one bad thing, it melted. I don't know if you can see that. But it melted, and I like took a huge chunk out of it. So um, I had, I was keeping it in my little um, lifeguard fanny pack when I got to lifeguard, but it melted the first day I used, the first day I had it. So I decided that that won't be happening. I'll probably still keep it in this bag. It just won't go out in the sun with me. And then I have a couple more lip products with SPF in them. And this first one is Hawaiian Tropic Aloha Kiss Moisturizing Lip Gloss. Uh, it has SPF 20 in it, and it smells really good, like really fruity. It says Island Berry, kind of fruit punchy. Um, sorry if you can hear that loud noise. They're doing like construction around my house, like they're building new houses and stuff. But anyways, uh, it's really liquidy, so it makes it kind of awkward to apply, but it's a pretty color. And the last one is the MAC Sun Tints, um, which I used in the tutorial, and I really like it. And then, on the other side, I just have my wallet with my keys and things, which I obviously need if I'm going to go anywhere. And then, for a, like, what's in my beach bag, actual beach bag, um, here's my beach bag. I know, again, I showed it in a different video. Um, but it's just striped, it's really cute, it's reversible to this, like, fun tribal pattern. And I really like it. It's super huge, but it holds everything. So, um... The first thing in there is, of course, my towel. Um, it's just kind of rolled up so it'll stay in there nicely. Well, it's not rolled very nicely, but um, it's got anchors, and the ends have these blue and white, my blue stripes. Um, I just think it's really, really adorable. Um, nautical and cute and everything. Um, so I really like that towel. Got it from Target. And then just some of the other essentials that I keep in my beach bag. Um, the first thing I have here is a book. Um, this is John Green, Looking for Alaska. I just started reading it last night. It's interesting. I just heard a lot of great things about John Green. Um, so I decided I would start reading some of his books. And so I grabbed this one. We'll see. It's interesting. It seems a little bit young for me. And maybe that's why I'm not so keen on it yet. But we'll just have to see how it turns out. Um, and then I have my goggles. Which are right here. They're Speedo brand. Um, they're gray and pink, which is why I bought them. I know they work pretty well and they're really cute. Obviously, you need goggles if you're going to go swimming. And then I have um, deodorant. And this is Secret Natural Mineral Eucalyptus Blossom Scent Invisible Solid Deodorant. Just the deodorant I have at the current time. And then, of course, I have sunscreen. And I have Avino Hydro Sport Sunblock Spray Long Lasting Protection. And it's an SPF 30. Um, and it's a spray one. Um, I don't like regular Robin sunscreens at all. Um, but this one works really well. Then I have for like showering. Um, after I swim, I use this this Ultra Swim Chlorine Removal Shampoo. Um, I got this at my sporting goods store. So it removes chlorine within just one use. So I use that after I swim just to get the chlorine out of my hair. I have a wide tooth comb to comb out my hair when it gets wet. I have literally had this for like ever, like since elementary school, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it works really well to comb out my hair. And then I have this hairbrush. There is hair all over it. This is gross. Um, but it's from Conair. That's upside down, I think. Um, but it's just like, it's one of their nicer ones. It's got the like, boar bristles and the big bristles. And then it's just sort of like a wooden, I think it's wooden, handle and like rubbery. Um, but it works really well to get like knots and tangled out of my hair. Um, and then around that, I usually keep a ponytail or two and then a stretchy headband um, so I can put around my hair to keep my bangs out of my face, especially if I am going to go and swim laps or something. Um, and then also what I usually like to spray in my hair is this Mark Curl to Curl Reactivate and Define Mist. Um, and I'll spray that in my hair like after I shower, after I've combed it out, and then I put it up. And it just kind of helps to add some like volume 
and some more wave to my hair, especially when I'm going to take it down again later. And then I have a, just a little mini hairspray, Tresemme um, mini hairspray, just in case I needed to tame flyaways, or if I'm going to go somewhere after I go to the pool, just to kind of get my hair back to where it should be. Um, a couple of body sort of products. Um, this first one is the Ibiza Soul After Sun Body Balm. This is so great um, for when you get sunburnt. Um, and I like to apply this basically anytime I think I'm going to be sunburnt or um, after I've been in the sun for a long time. So like after I would shower, I would put on this, um, just put it on all over my body or on places that I think might get sunburned. And it really helps to stop peeling and scratching, like itchiness and everything like that. So I'm really glad that I have this. And then um, I have a hand cream. Um, this is from Julep. It's their Everyday SPF hand cream, and it's an SPF 30. Um, it's kind of sunscreeny. I don't know. It's just white, but it smells kind of sunscreeny, and like the texture is kind of like like a lotiony sunscreen. Um, and then just one of the final thing that's in my bag um, is the Alara bar. Um, and this one's in blueberry muffin, which is okay. Um, the one that I found that's like my favorite is like the cherry. Or chocolate cherry tour or something like that um, but it's got cherry and it's got like chocolate chips in it it's so so yummy but um, I always like to keep like a snack of some kind in my bag um, especially when I'm going to work as a lifeguard um, I always bring snacks and food and like meals and things with me because I'm on like we work for basically 10 hours so I, I get plenty of breaks but I just need to have something to eat because I'm not gonna really get time for a lunch or a dinner until after like 9 or 10 o'clock at night so, uh, I like to keep snacks in, in there to have to eat whenever I get hungry. Um, and then I usually keep a little makeup bag with it, things like my BB cream and just like a shimmery cream eyeshadow in there just to have on hand just in case um, whenever I need to, if I need to reapply my makeup or if I shower and I want to put a little bit of makeup before I go somewhere. Um, so that's basically what I keep in this big bag. Um, and I love this bag a lot. Like, it's my favorite beach bag I think I've ever had. So. Oh, and then I also bring a bottle of water. Um, this is the bottle I got recently. Um, it just, it was $10, like $9.99. I mean, it's supposed to be insulated. So, and it holds 24 ounces of water. It's got a nice little squeezy, like, that kind of top. And then it's got this to kind of carry around if you need to. Um, but I always keep some sort of water bottle or something in my bag because if you're out in the sun, you definitely need to stay hydrated. And uh, with that, um, I think that'll be the end of the video. Now, as always, thanks for watching and please remember to comment and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!